A diffraction grating and a screen are used to determine the single wavelength of a light coming from a source. What is the essential feature of this experiment? Wow, what words? Essential feature. What must the experiment have for this diffraction grating experiment to work? That's what they're asking you, basically. So what's a diffraction grating? Well, you have a light coming in to a grating and then, well, I should say a single beam of light comes in, then you have all kinds of maxima forming on the screen. These, are, these lines represent the maxima where they are. So bright fringe, bright fringe, bright fringe, bright fringe, bright fringe. Okay, a curved screen must be used. Why curve? I No, 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 we, we are happy with our straight screen. So nah, we don't need this. Not essential. B, the diffraction angle must be measured for at least two interference maxima. No, we only need one maxima though. Like if we just find this theta to the n equals to one maxima, we're good. We can find the wavelength of light. It's not essential. Although it'll be nice to have for, you know, take average, repeat experiment, take average, but nah, it's not essential. C, the light waves incident must be coherent. Ooh, coherence is a very important topic. Like, well, the light will come in many ways. Lah. I'm, I'm just not drawing all the waves. I'm just drawing one ray. But all the light coming in must be coherent. Whether from a laser or from something. Ooh, this is very important. Because then you have a constant phase difference. That's what coherent means. Constant phase difference between all the light waves. Mm. <clears throat> Probably C. But let's continue to D and check first. The third order intensity maximum must be produced. Third order intensity maximum means the n equals to 3 maxima. Why would we need the n equals 3 maxima? I mean, if I have n equals 1 up here above me, n equals 2, that's fine. I can already find the angle. I can already find my wavelength of light. So, nah, not essential. So I guess the best choice is, is D. Coherence must need it for your experiments to work. Double slit, diffraction grating, you need to have um, the source must be coherent. Either two slot, two slit, two deepers in the ripple tank has to be coherent. Okay, next question, next video.